Hi guys, in today's how-to video, I'm gonna continue on my previous uh, how-to video on how to improve your shooting flow, specifically dedicated to movement and transition. A quick recap of the first uh, shooting flow video in which I explained that our brain is made up of the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. The objective of the conscious mind in a practical shooting, especially during matches, is to focus on one thing and one thing only, and that is to shoot alphas fast. The entire technical process behind it and the techniques and the bank of information that you tap into to create your um, stage plan is actually constructed, built and used in your subconscious mind. So to run a smooth and efficient stage, there's a process in, that is built on three basic and main principles. And the first was that you engage targets nearest to you and then further away from you. And from the bottom up, because if you shoot for the targets from the bottom up, that enables your eyes to transition to the target and your gun to follow, which is more difficult if you shoot uh, targets from um, the top to the bottom. The second principle that applies is that for right-handed shooters, in most cases, they have a natural preference in shooting the targets from the right to the left uh, clockwise. For left-handed shooters, it's inverse from the left to the right. The third principle implies that as much as you can, try to shoot the targets that are located on a horizontal line. These were the three basic principles that we explained in the first shooting flow video. We're gonna build on the three previous main and basic principles by adding three new ones. The first is keep on moving even when moving slow. That's the first basic principle we're gonna add. The second one is don't stop. Stop as little as possible. If we combine both, it's better to move slow than to really standing still and stopping on the stage. And the third one is if you see the target, shoot the target as quickly as you can. Those are the three new main and basic principles we're gonna build on. And on the next uh, couple of scenarios, we're gonna integrate and put the theory to practice. During the next uh, slides, we're gonna review different scenarios that you might encounter during training and match stages, always referring and using the three principles, as you can see in the top right corner of the slide. Um, and as a layout, we will always have a part of a uh, stage that will be uh, depicted on the slide, either with a, um, a static starting position or it's possible that in the next scenarios there will be arrows indicating the direction that we are coming from. So uh, with no further delay, we're gonna discuss the first uh, scenario. It's a scenario where we have a starting position outside of the demarcated area. Uh, and to start at the beep, we actually have to step in to the demarcated area. And as soon as we step in, we will start using our uh, main first main principle and that uh, says keep on moving uh, some shooters might consider to actually step into the demarcated um, area and then start shooting the different targets from a static position and again um, if you think that's the best option for you, I would say go for it. But as a general principle, it's important to keep moving and not stop. So what I propose is as soon as the beep goes off, you step into the demarcated area. And whilst you are moving, you're actually transitioning from the left first target to the right first target to the second left target to the uh, second right target to the third left target each time making sure that your eyes transition first 
to get an acceptable side picture and get your uh, gun to follow. Now, when you are firing your last shot in the area, uh, there are no other targets that are in this part of the uh, stage. I would suggest to use an explosive movement to get out of the position um, and by running and using the drop step technique to launch to the next shooting position. In uh, this particular scenario, we actually have the same setup as far as the targets are concerned, but instead of actually uh, commencing with a static uh, start, we actually have to pass by here and uh, this arrow points out the direction we are coming from. So here, uh, considering that uh, this is the downrange um, direction, we have to address these different targets. And what I propose to do in this, this type of scenario is to actually, again, keep moving, not stopping and then seeing and shooting, is to uh, move in this direction, but backwards. So not um, with our eyes in the uh, direction that we need to go, but actually walking backwards. And then starting with the first target on the left, transitioning to the first target on the right, then again, the second target on the left, the second target on the right, and when we are here at the end, the third target on the left, to then again use the drop step technique to catapult our way to the next uh, shooting position. Again, remember, remembering and reminding that we need to keep moving and stopping as little as possible. If every time that um, you pass by a target, you stop to actually engage the target, that will have a significant impact on your overall stage time for that particular stage. So even when you need to move backwards, it's better than to stop, move, stop, move when engaging targets. In this scenario, we are inside the demarcated area. We have three targets in front of us and a target on um, the left hand side. And we need to engage these three targets to then move backwards and engage the target on the left hand side. Now, um, especially new shooters will uh, engage these targets whilst remaining static at this position. So they will, if there are uh, right handed shooters, uh, target this target, the middle target, and then the right target. And when they're done, they will actually run backwards, stop, and then engage the last target on the left hand side. Um, what I propose uh, to do in this particular scenario is uh, as follows. Let me clean out these, uh, these lines before we continue. Voilà. Um, as soon as the beep goes off, we will actually start moving backwards in the direction we want to go, considering that that is the downrange area, so we have to um, watch out for our, our muzzle. And whilst we are moving backwards, we will engage these three targets. And by the time we are actually finished with um, targeting and, and shooting the double alpha on the right hand target, we will be in a location where we will be able to fire off two rounds on the left hand target. In this scenario, we have another uh, part of a stage where we have uh, to move from the left uh, to the right with uh, two walls and an opening in the middle and then three targets that are located in the opening. Um, especially new shooters will probably run to the middle of the opening, stop, engage the uh, three targets from the left to the right or the right to the left. And when they are finished, they will start again, move in the other direction. Again, um, reminding you of the three 
uh, basic and main principles keep on moving don't stop and shoot it when you see it what i propose is you are moving in this direction um, be mindful of your uh, muzzle control because this is the downrange area in this scenario now uh, the principle is keep moving don't stop so we are not gonna stop in the middle of uh, the opening to engage the targets but whilst we are moving and as soon as we see the first target on the right appear behind the first wall, we will actually engage it. And we will continue to keep on moving, regulating speed. So as soon as we see the second target in the middle, we will engage it. And again, whilst continuing to move in the direction we need to go, when as soon as we see the third target on the left, we will engage it. And then we will use another expl explosive drop step technique to catapult our way uh, even faster in the uh, other direction to then re-engage other targets down the range. This is a similar scenario as uh, in the previous slide, but uh, now we are coming from the right-hand side. We are moving to the uh, left-hand side. The downrange uh, area is still in the uh, direction of the three targets. So again, using the three principles, keep on moving, don't stop and uh, see it, sh shoot it. We will continue to keep uh, on moving, uh, regulating the speed and as soon as we see the target um, on the left hand side we will actually engage it whilst we are moving you can regulate the speed we will engage the middle uh, target and uh, continuing to move as soon as we see the target on the right hand side we will engage it and then as soon as it in, as it is engaged we'll use the drop step technique to launch our way down uh, to the left hand side in this scenario we actually uh, arrive from the top of the slide and we need to move to the uh, left lower corner of this slide uh, because we are right-handed shooter also understanding that this is the downrange uh, area we will uh, during our walkthrough pay attention to how we should run and take our curve i refer to other how-to videos on that and as soon as we are at the wall we will bring up our gun and we will shoot again um, the first target that we see which if we run behind this corner the left hand target will be the first target that we will see and again whilst still continuing to um, go around the corner we will then transfer and transition to the um, top target and then uh, whilst we are con continuing to move we will be able to see and shoot the last target on the right hand side same scenario as in the previous slide we are coming from the top of the slide we need to move in the up range direction because downrange is in the opposite direction um, we will keep on moving we know that the targets are on our right hand side and as a right-handed shooter that implies that i need to um, carry my gun above my uh, shoulder i refer to other how-to videos on how to do that whilst running um, in the up range direction we will keep on moving don't stop and as soon as we turn this wall the first target we're going to see is the target on the right hand side we will continue uh, to move and as we move and have engaged this target the next target we're going to see is the top middle target and the last target we're going to see is the target on the left hand side uh, also finishing off that particular stage in uh, this scenario we um, begin from a standing relaxed position we have a total of uh, five targets we need to engage on our right side as soon as the beep goes off and also considering the first uh, basic uh, principles the first target we're going to engage is the lower target at the weir we will transition up eyes first gun will follow to the upper target we will then transition 
to the uh, popper and as soon as we transition from the popper to the lower target we will actually already start moving and when we um, engage the upper target on the right we will use a drop step technique to actually catapult away in the downrange direction so here it's important to already start moving whilst you are engaging the last two targets also uh, gaining time similar scenario to the one we saw earlier but instead of uh, starting from a standing relaxed we're actually coming from the downrange uh, area um, knowing that the targets are located on our right hand side uh, being right-handed shooters we will actually carry the uh, gun over our uh, shoulder we will consider our uh, running lines for the curves and as soon as we are actually behind the wall and we see the first target away the first thing that we're gonna engage is the lower target then transition upwards to target the upper target continuing to move shoot the uh, popper and then uh, ending the lower target and uh, completing the stage with the upper target on the last target away in this scenario we need to engage four large poppers on our left hand side from a standing relaxed uh, position uh, as soon as the beep goes off the first uh, popper we're gonna shoot is uh, the last one in the row then the second one the third one each time transitioning eyes first gun will follow and whilst we are transitioning between this one and the last one to shoot we will actually already start moving in the direction we need to go firing off our shot and then using a drop step technique to catapult our way into the uh, downrange uh, direction similar scenario as the one before we are actually coming from the downrange uh, direction and we are moving uprange the targets are on our left hand side so again as a right-handed shooter we are dragging the gun behind us we are running towards our shooting position and we are not going to wait until we are actually at the shooting position to then start to engage the targets but whilst we are running and whilst we get to see past the uh, the wall we will bring up our gun and the first target we're gonna see is the first popper on the left hand side and as soon as it's shot and we are getting into the shooting position we will shoot the consecutive poppers um, shooting this one first then the third one and then the fourth one in this scenario we are also starting from a standing relaxed position facing uh, down range and we need to engage four target arrays on the stage at the beep the first thing we're gonna engage is the target away on our left hand side and we will turn and actually start to move backwards whilst we are engaging the lower target on the uh, left hand uh, target array and we will move up fire off our shots on the second target continuing to move backwards as soon as the second uh, target is uh, engaged we will turn around facing the other target array on our right hand side again whilst we are moving we will engage the lower target first and then we move up to the uh, upper target and then we will actually make a curve and whilst moving not stopping we will engage the uh, target on our left hand side we will continue to move on and as soon as we are at that wall we see the targets we will continue to move and engage the lower target and then the upper target finishing this particular stage in this scenario we're actually moving uh, up range this is the down range um, direction and we are moving and we need to engage two target arrays on our left and on our right hand side now something that a lot of shooters do in this type of scenario is they will actually move they will really go to the nearest position closest to the target away stop engage the two targets then turn around move and do the same 
at the other side, closing in really close to the target OA, to then engage the two targets. So this is uh, consuming a lot of time and is actually unnecessary. So what uh, I propose in a situation like this is as follows. I'll first clear these lines. Again, the direction that we need to move in is the, uh, is the same. And what we'll do is we will keep on moving. Here, as soon as we get at the wall, we will bring up our gun in the high ready position. And we, as soon as we see the target, the lower target here on the target away, we will actually engage it. We will continue. We will fire off at the second time and at that particular moment we will stop the movement do a drop step to catapult our way to the other direction and here too as soon as we are at the wall with the high ready gun we will engage first as soon as we see it the first target um, underneath and then the upper target but we will not continue to move in the direction of the target array so as soon as we see the target we'll engage and then we will stop when we are when we shot the second uh, target away so the amount of movement we do and then the explosiveness to go to the other target away this is where we can gain a lot of time so don't fall into the trap of really going to the target arrays to actually shoot them see from where you can actually shoot, shoot them and don't move further than that so you gain the time and the distance and the speed to uh, approach the next uh, target away so in conclusion we uh, discussed a second batch of uh, main and basic principles in addition to the first batch that we discussed in uh, how to improve your shooting flow one and the objective was to focus on movement and transition and to integrate the the first batch together with the uh, second batch as was also shown in the uh, last scenarios that we discussed it's important to integrate both batches of main and basic principles into your dry and your live fire uh, training to uh, increase the amount of information in your bank of information that you can tap into and to create subconscious processes that you don't have to consciously think about anymore when you are developing your stage plan so that your conscious mind can only stay focused on shooting alphas fast and here with improving your performance on training and especially match stages.